budget movie is filming on the lakefront. Our news team is the first and only to go behind the scenes. ABC 26 News reporter Molly Rosenblatt gives you an exclusive backstage pass on the set of The Green Lantern. Day 80 of filming The Green Lantern, 20 more to go. That's Martin Campbell, famed director of this big budget comic book adaptation. The scene you see here will be one of the first in the movie. Ernie Malik is in charge of public relations for the film. He says New Orleans continues to be a prime location for the movie industry. So the state of Louisiana offers one of the best tax incentives in the country. And when we arrived here in the middle of March to start filming, I think there were five or six things going on simultaneously. As if the great tax incentives and large local crew base aren't already enough, turns out one of the key reasons for selecting New Orleans for filming is right here at Lakefront Airport. We needed an airport for about six weeks of shooting and they found Lakefront Airport which is where we are right now and that was really the nail that, uh, drove, that, they, uh, that drove us to come to uh, New Orleans. But don't expect to recognize a whole lot of the Crescent City when the Green Lantern hits theaters. The film is set in a fictional town called Coastal City which is created through a combination of on location shots and computer effects that the locals will be able to recognize this film and that's part of the allure and the magic of uh, movies to take a place that people would say why are they why is a california coastal set story coming to new orleans and turn that into something that they can say they did a great job molly rosenblatt abc 26 news and the green lantern will hit theaters next june the movie is based on a dc comic book and stars ryan reynolds blake lively and peter sarsgaard